In this video, we are going to discuss antennas. An antenna can be defined as an electrical conductor or collection of conductors and used either for radiating electromagnetic energy or for collecting electromagnetic energy. So, antenna can be considered as an electrical conductor or a system of conductors with the help of which we can both transmit and receive electromagnetic energy. For transmission of a signal, radio frequency electrical energy from the transmitter is converted into electromagnetic energy by the antenna and radiated into the surrounding environment. The surrounding environment may be atmosphere, space, may be water also. For reception, so here we have discussed the transmission now going for the reception. For reception of a signal, the electromagnetic energy impinging on the antenna is converted into radio frequency electrical energy and fed into the receivers. A two-way antenna can both transmit and can also receive. Now, here we are showing that how one parabolic antenna is working. So, here we have taken one cross section, you can find this one. We have taken one cross section of parabolic antenna showing the reflective property. Here you can find this one as a focus and here you see that that is the directrix we are having here, the respective directrix we are having. This is our x axis and this is our y axis. So, you can find that from this particular focus, so all the radians, radiations which will be which will be coming out emerging, they will be having the respect after reflection, they will be going in this particular fashion and that is known as the parabolic antenna, we have taken only one cross section for your understanding. So, performance of an antenna depends on its radiation pattern. An isotropic antenna is a point in space that radiates power in all directions equally. So, this is a very important line. An isotropic antenna is a point in space that can radiate power in all directions uniformly. So, here is a diagram of a diagram of parabolic reflective antenna. So, we have discussed that one that is the parabolic reflective antenna we have taken one cross section. Now, we shall discuss how to calculate the respective gain of one antenna. So, antenna gain is a measure of the directionality of an antenna and in case of isotropic also known as omnidirectional antennas having same gain in all directions. The relationship between the antenna gain and the effective area is, so here is our very important expression, so that is equation is given. So, G which is standing for the antenna gain 4 pi A e that is the effective area A e stands for and that is the lambda square. So, lambda is actually denoting the carrier wavelength. So, now this F is actually denoting the carrier frequency and C is the speed of light that is 3 into 10 to the power of 8 meter per second. So, in this way you can find out the antenna gain and we know that in case of omnidirectional antenna, the, the antenna will have the same gain in all directions. So, here in this video we have discussed the different aspects of antenna and also this equation is very important that is known as the antenna gain on which numerical problems may come in your exam. Thanks for watching this. Tutorialspoint.com Simply easy learning.